Oh, little kitty, you look a bit emotional seeing these pictures from the past. Well, practically, we are yet to build a time machine. But theoretically, we can actually see the past with the help of a big telescope like the James Webb. Ooh, really? How? Well, let me explain that in today's episode by answering a timeless question. How does the James Webb telescope see back in time? Zoom in! On December 25, 2021, NASA, along with Canadian and European space agencies, launched one of their most ambitious $10 billion projects called the James Webb Telescope into space. It is the largest, most powerful telescope ever built with a height of a three-story building and the length of a tennis court. It was designed to capture images of some of the first galaxies ever formed and look inside dust clouds to see where new planets and stars are forming and even examine the possibility of life on other planets. On top of all this, what's more fascinating is that it will allow us to look at what our universe was like about 200 million years after the Big Bang. So basically, it will technically be able to look back in time. But how? Well, this time-traveling factor of the James Webb Telescope is all to do with how long it takes light to travel through the universe. Confused? Let me explain. You see, all of the light we see right from the distant stars in space to the glow from the electric bulb hanging a few feet away takes time to reach your eyes. And as light moves with a super speed of 186,000 miles per second, we don't catch it traveling from a shorter distance like from the bulb to our eyes. However, when you're looking at objects that are millions or billions of miles away, like in space, you're actually seeing light that has traveled a long, long way to reach you. For example, our sun is located nearly 93 million miles away from Earth. Because of this distance, it takes light around 8 minutes and 20 seconds to travel from the sun to Earth. So, when we look at the sun through protective glasses, we are actually seeing it as it appeared more than 8 minutes ago. Not as it appears at the moment you are seeing it. In other words, you're looking 8 minutes into the past, that too without any super expensive telescope. Similarly, for an object located far deep into the universe, the visible light waves coming from it are yet to reach us, due to which we can't see those objects. On top of that, in most cases, before this light could even reach us, these waves of visible light will stretch out and turn into infrared, which is invisible to human eyes. So it means we won't be able to see these objects ever. And that's why astronomers need powerful telescopes like James Webb. Because not only does this telescope zoom in on distant galaxies to observe visible light coming from many millions of light years away, but it can also pick up infrared waves that can pass through anything coming in its way. So, using its infrared sensing instruments, James Webb can peek through dusty regions of space to study light that was emitted more than 13 billion years ago by the most ancient stars and galaxies in the universe. And 
Look back into time. Trivia time! Did you know the telescope is named after James E. Webb, the famous administrator of NASA from 1961 to 1968? Yes, it was under his tenure the world saw the first moon landing. Hope you had fun today. Until next time, it's me, Dr. Binox, zooming out. Ah, never mind. <laughs>